What is going on, ladies and gents? It is Simply Pops. How am I simple people doing out there? I didn't say that in a while, so yeah. Now, we have some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 news. The next Treyarch game is, I am 75% sure Treyarch will make the next Call of Duty game. How surprised, you know, because, you know, the COD cycle and, you know, Infinity Ward first, then Treyarch. Infinity War Treyarch, Infinity War Treyarch, you guys get the whole idea. Now, it might be confirmed that Black Ops 3 might set in the 1939s through 1942, which is World War II time. I love World War II. Futuristic games are cool now, but they starting to get a little played out because we have a lot of great... We have a lot of great futuristic games coming out already, like Titanfall, Destiny. Um, I can go on for days with how many futuristic shooter games out there. And I think we want a, a World War II shooting game on the next-gen console. How great will that be? Look at World That War on the um, last gen, which is the Xbox 360 and PS3. It, that game had gore. It had, um, you know, it had badass weapons. The weapon sounds was great. Um, the voice acting was outstanding. I love the voice acting in, in World at War. And just imagine how much thought and work they will put into Black Ops 3. Hopefully, Treyarch don't mess this one up. I think Treyarch make pretty good Call of Duty games, you know. I think Infinity Ward is in the slacking zone. But I will make a video about that on my next video. I'm not going to go around on that now. But someone posted it up on Reddit. Which is, you know, he was... He was part of the Treyarch team, but he's not with them no longer. He posted a little message on Reddit. I might have it in the screen. Um, but he basically said there has been much speculation around the next Call of Duty game. Next Call of Duty coming in 2014. And I have some info kind of setting it straight with, with all the Sledgehammer and Treyarch rumors. Crazily flying around throughout, through Twitter and such. A little... About me, I work for Treyarch and help in Call of Duty 2, Big Red 1, which is, you know, a Call of Duty game back in the days for GameCube, I remember it. And Black Ops, which is my favorite Call of Duty game, one of my favorites. And, you know, later and moving on. I'm not going to read all of this, so you guys read that. I got a little too lazy to read it. But any other than that, he also, let me just point out the main part. Black Ops 3 was set in the leading up and start of World War 2. So, as you guys know, World at War was like the near end of World War 2. So, this Black Ops 3 game, it will set place in the beginning of World War 2. So, this is actually great news, you know. Um, zombies will be returning. You may have some flashbacks to the past. World War II Zombies is returning. He also said that. We have added some modes like TDM. Well, that's not new. And free directly connects to Black Ops and Black Ops 2. Sledgehammer will not be working on the next Call of Duty. Well, well, ah. Sledgehammer is not working with the development of the next Call of Duty game title. So, Sledgehammer will not make the next Call of Duty game, guys. And it is officially, he made, you know, he was a part of Treyarch. He knows what's going on. So, I am actually 80% sure Black Ops 3 was set place in the War War World War 2 form. So, this is exciting news. I'm just, I think Call of Duty belongs in a World War 2 era, you know? Look at the World War II games, like, you know, well, World at War was the best one, I agree. But it's just too much futuristic shooting games for Call of Duty, and I think they should go back. That's all I have for now. That's the Reddit post. Um, the kill streak. I will probably make a separate video. That really should be the next video. I will talk about that next. Um, and yeah, leave a like if you're excited for Black Ops 3 as much as I am. And yeah, this is going to keep Call of Duty fresh. So, leave a like if you are excited. Um, leave a comment below. If you, you know, leave a comment. You know, support me. I love reading you guys' t comments and answering them. I love my subscribers. Um, have a simple day, guys. Peace. Woo!